Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to our next installment of the Planetary System Period 5 Jupiter Cycle of 2024. Now, one thing nice about this Jupiter cycle, no matter where you are, this will be the best time of the year for you. Even things that are negative won't be as negative when we are in a Jupiter cycle. And this is good for the whole world. And I think the world needs this right now. There is beauty to be found in the changing of the Earth's season and an inner grace in honoring the cycles of life. And that's Jack Cornfield. And if you're unfamiliar with him, he's the one who started Chicken Soup for the Soul books. All right, so our 2024 planetary cycles. Earth is in a Jupiter cycle in a Saturn year. So the whole Earth, everybody on Earth is going to affect, be affected by this Jupiter cycle in a Saturn year. So what I want you to think of it as Jupiter isn't ruling your world. Jupiter is just the planet with the strongest vibration on the world right now for the next 52 days. And these 52 days are October 14th until December 4th. 2024 is a Saturn year. And this is the Jupiter cycle within the Saturn year. Every year is divided by seven, the seven ancient planets, including the sun and the moon. And we are now in our fifth period of the year, the year running from March 22nd, or March 19th, spring equinox until spring equinox. So even though we are in a Jupiter time, this is a Saturn year. So even though it's the luckiest time of the year, the luck has to be earned. This is not just money dropping out of the sky. This is the luck that you have because you work so hard for it. This is the luck that you have you applied and applied and applied and applied for jobs and finally, luckily, your name is called. That kind of luck. Uh, we've got Saturn kind of puts the skid on luck and it has to be earned and the luck is karmic. Now, during Jupiter cycle, everything expands. That's why it's lucky. Our luck is expanding. Our money is expanding. But during a Saturn year, this is according to karma. Now, so we have to remember everything expands and that include, uh, can include our debt, our waste, waistlines, um, our arguments, our wars, everything expands. So it's not only luck and money and good things. Um, Jupiter is non-discretionary. Generally, it's good, but during a Saturn year, you can count on um, your karma really playing into your luck. Now, on that hand, judgments will be fair. So if there's court cases that have been going on and on and on, this is a great time um, for them to be wrapped up and they will be fair. And even if you think it, it you should have won, Whatever the outcome is, let's say the judge doesn't give you as big of a win, the win will be fair. When you look back on it, the judgments that are done during the Jupiter cycle in a Saturn year will be very fair. There won't be, you won't be lucky and get more than what you thought during this time. Absolutely not. Maybe next year or the year after, but certainly not this year. Also in a Saturn year, because remember, Saturn rules things that are deep in the earth and Jupiter is expansion. So we can um, expect to hear about oil spills, right? Because they come from deep in the earth and the oil is expanding and rises to the top. We can think of volcanoes, something from deep in the earth expanding and coming out. Mudslides, right? So anything that is of the earth. Also... Um, things that can expand are, um, are some of our fruit trees. Maybe there'll be bumper crops this year in that because Saturn rules things of the earth and agriculture. 
And so some of the harvest will might be quite abundant this this year. Now, also with all Saturn things are expanding, burials, deaths, judgments, there might be a lot of um, uh, suing and whatnot going on and underground things. So there might be like a huge oil find, there might be a huge um, gold find, for example, or what's in the news lately, lithium, a big lithium find, that kind of thing that we're going to see in the next 52 days, a big expansion of earth things. Also, poisonings will increase. So I want you to be really careful of food poisoning. I want you to be really careful when you're taking um, medications, prescription or not. And we might see a rise in things like uh, fentanyl or accidental drug overdoses. Now also, as my regular um, warning here, your timings may be differ different. If your birthday is later in the groups, so please also listen to the next or earlier period, depending when your birthday is, all right? Because the energies will take a little bit longer to get to you. So I'll give you some examples as we go along. All right, so this is the, all these uh, predictions are based on your per birth date. And the timestamps for your birth date will be in the description box. So you just have to go to the section that has your birth date and read about what these next 52 days will bring to you. So if your birth date is October 14th to December 4th, you are in your first period of your birth year. If your birthday is August 23rd to October 13th, you are in the second period of your birth year. If your birthday is July 1st to August 22nd, you are in the third period of your birth year. If your birthday is May 11th to July 1st, you are in the fourth period of your birth year. And if your birthday is March 19th to May 10th, you are in the fifth period of your birth year. If your birthday is January 26th to March 18th, you are now in your sixth period of your birth year. And if your birthday is December 5th to January 25th, you are in the seventh period of your birth year. All right, so if you were born October 14th to December 4th, you are in the first period or the sun cycle of your birth year during a Saturn year with the Jupiter time of the earth year. As you can see, there's many layers to this system and you are a Jupiter personality. So this is a very expansive time for you. Very, very, very lucky. The next 52 days will be all about you. The sun is shining on you, putting you in the spotlight until December 4th. You can advance anything you want to be in public. Also, it's a warning not to be sloppy with what you don't want out in public. So please watch your social media posts. It is not a great time to start anything. Still, it's a great time to network, seek partnerships, apply for promotions, seek favors, nurture relationships with authority figures, have a court case, be in public in any capacity, build up credit, put your name forward, build your reputation, be your own cheerleader, and getting your name out to people in high positions who can someday help you. It is not a great time for making sales, but for building up your networking and referrals. Watch out for speeding tickets and don't do anything illegal. In a Saturn year, your luck won't be as lucky as it is in other years. Your luck will be equal to your karma. If you're applying for jobs where you will be in the spotlight, your luck is with you now. For example, Vice President Harris, this is her lucky time. Her birthday is October 20th, I believe. It's a great time to build up your energy levels with plenty of time spent outdoors under the sun. 
Great results will come with ordinary wellness, such as drinking water, eating basic foods, and doing general movement with walking. Watch exercises and foods that heat the body, such as starches and raw or rare meats. The eyes will be highly sensitive at this time. Be careful under the sun or bright lights. If good health has eluded you, this is the best time all year to have a surgical procedure or start with a new health regime with the suggestions above. So Jupiter people are generally lucky anyways, and they might find this is really strange for them not to be as lucky as they normally are. And it's just because we're in a Saturn year. So think of Saturn as a heavy anchor on your luck and kind of being a drag. Um, it's, it's somewhat stabilizing your luck. So you won't many times, maybe you did get caught with a speeding ticket and you were lucky you could talk your way out of it. That won't be the case this year. Maybe the luck will be instead of a hundred dollar ticket, you get a $50 ticket. That's what you're going to feel like your luck is, is like. And I just wanted to point out if you want to reread that, um, for, uh, Vipre Vice President Harris's, uh, time for the next 52 days because of course this covers the uh, election as well so if you're a vice president Harris fan you might want to go back and read that and see what energies she is coming into all right all right so if your birthday is December 5th to January 25th you are in period seven you are in your Saturn cycle in a Saturn year and you are actually one of the luckier um, personalities this year because your Saturn cycle in a Saturn year is following falling in the Jupiter time so it's not going to be as detrimental or as unlucky as uh, some people have had it this year with when their Saturn cycle is in a Saturn year and you are a Venus personality uh, some of uh, Venus people, people born during Venus with a Venus personality are always beautiful. There's something, um, there's some kind of je ne sais quoi about them that is very attractive to people. They could even be very plain looking, but there's some kind of glow about them that makes them um, look, um, there's just a beautiful glow about them. It's almost as if it comes from the inside out. Also, they are very attached to their luxurious goods. That doesn't mean they have a lot of them. It's just if they're buying a watch, they'll buy the best watch that they can afford rather than, you know, having two or three cheap ones that they can interchange. They'd rather have just one classic, beautiful watch. That, that's the Venus personality. All right, so for the next 52 days, so from October 14th to December 4th, the next 52 days will be about what needs to leave, what isn't working, and karma. If something, marriage, job, business, project, has been a struggle, it might completely collapse during this period of the year. This can be rebuilt from a fresh platform or put away for good. If you need to start something over or revisit, this is the best time of the whole year to consider your options. It is very easy to become pessimistic and destructive these 52 days, so take care not to destroy something that could be fixable. Impulsiveness will bring disaster during the period of this year. Hold off any new ideas and beginnings until energies are better later in the year. Expansion will be difficult during these 52 days and you may feel unusually unlucky. Do not incur any new debt. This is a good time to deal with judges and police matters. It's also a good time to apply for protection papers such as wills and patents. It's a very good time to deal with anything related to land, real estate, mines, minerals, the earth or what lives in it. You'll feel stronger wearing or buying black items. Do not do anything that is for improvement on your face. Voyages, especially far off places, should be avoided. Depressions, colds, and other maladies contracted during these 52 days will tend to linger or be difficult to cure. 
It is very easy to become despondent and lack energy. If your body is tired, let it rest. This is not a good time for remedial medication or operation unless it is an emergency. All five senses are affected during this period and it is the most serious time of the year for your health. And that's so interesting because I just did a, a reading on Catherine and this would be the time, these next 52 days, that if there is additional cancer, they will find it during this time. All right. So if your birthday is January 26th to March 19th, you are in the sixth period of your birth year. You are in a Venus cycle in a Saturn year during a Jupiter Earth time. There's many layers to this. And you are a Saturn personality. Now you might find that this uh, time is unusually lucky for you because you are a Saturn personality and you are very privy to the ways of Saturn. So you are out of everybody, the luckiest during this time. Um, this is your time to expand beautiful things and, and you'll find that you have um, a lot of luck during this time. The next 52 days are the best time to go on a short holiday. This is the time for pleasure and relaxation, so the trip should be short and sweet, not long and arduous, and not over water. Your affairs will continually, easily, and be a joy as long as they are above board. This is a time of expansion for you in every aspect, so be prudent. This is the best time to purchase things for the home or yourself, especially if they are luxurious and will not put you into debt. Remember, this is Jupiter. You do not want to expand your debt. This is the best time to make new friends, especially if they come into your life completely, socially, or unexpectedly. They will be a solid friend for a very long time, most likely until the end of your life. It's also a good time to renew friendships that have grown apart or stale. It is the best time all year to deal with women socially and in business, and women will find it's a great time to deal with men socially. It is the time of the year to enjoy luxury, clothes, trips, jewelry, perfumes, wines, foods, spas, etc., especially if they are black or dark or last a lifetime. As long as you can afford it, this is the time of year to spoil and adorn yourself with items from deep in the earth, diamonds, metals, etc. It is a lucky time to speculate, especially when investing in luxurious items. But be aware, it is the wrong time for overindulgence. Do not incur any debt. Do not incur any debt. You'll find that it will be almost impossible to pay off. Plenty of water and fiber, the complete digestive tract, should be consumed and rest should be taken when needed. Do not over-exercise. Take time to be in a beautiful garden or park. Also, um, with this being Jupiter, be careful with those luxurious foods. They will tend, you'll tend to pack on weight. Expand your waistline. All right? All right. So, if your birthday is March 19th to May 10th, I am one of you, you are in the fifth period of your birth year, you are in a Jupiter cycle in a Saturn year, and you are, again, as I explained last time, you are a sun personality, and all the sun personalities are the only ones that follow the earth sign at the same time. So, we have double Jupiter luck. But because we're in a Saturn year, um, it'll be a little bit um, subdued, our luck, but it'll still be lucky. And um, our expansion won't be as bad for like, for example, our debt, um, our waistlines. We don't, we're, between us and Jupiter, we're, we are the two luckiest, even though everybody is still lucky at this time. But honestly, this is this is a, a real time. Um, if you want to push your luck on something, this is the time to do it. 
The next 52 days are the luckiest and best for success in all aspects of the year. It is the easiest time of the year for your personal and business to expand and increase in prosperity. Manifestation seems to happen quickly during these 52 days for you. You will find that you are more interested in philosophy, society, and honesty and are more empathetic towards people. It is an excellent time to deal with lawyers, professors, doctors, wealthy people, or anyone of a good standing. This is a great time to start any study in the mystical or arcane. You'll find it is a good time to collect money that is owed or to invest, especially if the investment is something deep in the earth, such as minerals or oil. This is a very lucky time, especially if you wear black items. Buy a black wallet or phone case if you run your business from your phone. Be aware of incurring any debt as this tends to expand during these 52 days. Anything tricky or underhanded will ensure a larger karmic reaction than normal. So always stay in integrity. Health should be very good, especially if a normal lifestyle is engaged. This is the best time all year to adopt good health breathing hygiene, and to spend time outdoors in fresh air. It is the worst time all year to overindulge with food or drinks as weight or other maladies due to overindulgence will tend to continue to expand beyond this period. This is the best time to overcome chronic conditions. This is the best time to engage mind-body suggestions and energy healings with thoughts all year. This is the easiest time of the year for you, so be jovial and enjoy. All right, if your birthday is May 11th to July 1st, you're in the fourth period of your birth year. You are in a Mercury period in a Saturn year during an overall Jupiter time. I know there's so many layers to this, but once you understand it, it it makes sense. And you are a moon personality. For the next 52 days, uh, before I get started, I showed you where um, Vice President Harris was. And now this is uh, Donald Trump's. For the next 52 days, you'll be filled with mental or nervous energy versus the physical energy of the previous period. It's excellent for writing, studies, memory work, quick thinking, content creation, photography, and anything related to words and thoughts. You will find ideas come quickly and naturally to you during this period. And with Saturn ruling the year, you will find you'll be, you can stick to it to com- completion. It is safe to act upon impulses and put them into practical action. Your intuition will be highly charged. And if you have trouble hearing your intuition, this is the best time to work on increasing your ability to trust your intuition. This is a good time to work with anything in the media, including social media. Artists are more creative during this period. A warning about this period is that it is the most dangerous time for material loss, as it is the period during the whole year when thieves and scammers will be attracted to you. This is the time of year when loss of important papers, stolen money, scam investments, identity theft, and falsehoods abound. Be aware at all times and don't believe everything you hear. Many great losses, bullying, and false accusations occur during this period. If you've been less than honest in your dealings, prepare for Saturn to balance the books. It is not a good time to enter into marriage, return from long journeys, or buy a home or business. During this period, your nervous system will be overworked and too much studying, reading, or concentrating on one subject, for example, social media, will bring much stress to the body. More sleep and rest are needed here than any other time during the year. If you don't listen to what the stress levels are trying to tell you, a mental breakdown can occur. That's a very strong warning. And as I've mentioned before, I actually witnessed this happening to someone. Um, they were trying to start a business and, and just their kids were acting up and sure enough, they ended, they ended up in the psych ward. So please take heed 
to this period. It's only 52 days. Watch your stress levels, please. All right, so if your birthday is July 2nd to August 22nd, you are in the third period of the year. You are in a Mars period in a Saturn year. It's a very dangerous time for you, but lucky for you, your Mars period in a Saturn year is happening during the Jupiter time. So you might find that um, you have some luck with some of these things, like maybe you just about cut yourself or maybe... You just about start a fire or maybe that card just misses you, that kind of thing. And because you are a Mars personality, Mars period in a Saturn year, uh, you're going to want to count on a lot of the luck that is coming from Jupiter. All right. The next 52 days are the best time of the year to engage in heavy physical work or work that needs a steady pace over a long time. If you need to overcome any great labor project, it is the time to do it. You will find you have more energy than normal and enthusiasm to start projects. However, this is also a karmic period and the universe tends to dish out rewards or tasks. If the energy that wants to express itself is directed properly, this is the best time of the year to start a business, especially if it's a business that works with the military, sharp objects, weapons, gyms, fire, heating, electrical, or any male-focused business. Your vitality and physical body will be at its best, and this is the time to start a new exercise program. However, if this energy is misspent, projects that have started will not be completed, and there is a real threat of burnout. This is the best time of the year to deal with enemies or competitors if sheer physical labor will win. However, using arguments, words, or the legal system will result in nothing being settled. This is the best time for salespeople or lecturers who must give a forceful speech to win their favor. This is an unfavorable time to deal with women, and women should note that this is the most favorable time for dealing with men. Many quarrels, arguments, and strife occur, and this should be avoided because they will not end well for anyone involved. Those arguments and quarrels will just continue to expand and expand and expand and expand. This is not a good time to get married. This is when accidents happen or sudden surgeries come into your life. Please be careful around water and do not rush anything. Stay very alert when driving or around crowds. Please be careful when handling sharp items and fires. Do not overeat and keep the body cool when possible. Heartburn is at its worst during these 52 days. Breakouts and rashes can occur if the bowels are not kept clean. Blood pressure can be the highest all year during this time. Any abnormal physical pressure on the body will lead to a physical breakdown. And again, that's a very strong warning. So if your knees are bothering you, do not push them and keep running and running and running. They will break down. All right, it's only 52 days. <laughs> All right. So if your birthday is August 23rd to October 13th, you're in the second period of your birth year. You are in a moon period in a Saturn year and you are a Mercury personality. So we've got a moon period in a Saturn year during a, Ju a, Ju a Jupiter Earth time and you are a Mercury personality. You've got a lot going on right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're going to tend to be really busy during these. You're going to find that your to-do list is just going to expand and expand and expand. It'll be like, will my to-do list ever get done? All right. These 52 days will be perfect for things that start and end within these 52 days. Anything that starts during this time will not last very long. For example, this is the perfect for this is perfect for moving into a home, but buying a home during this period will result in another move sooner than you want. This is the time for items that are short, quick, and over with soon. Short, quick journeys or journeys over water are favored during this time. This is favorable for movable items such as sending packages or deliveries, moving freight, 
automobiles, transportation, traveling shows, circuses, caterers, pop-up markets, hotels, traffic, things that move quickly, or working with companies specializing in these industries will go smoothly. This is the only time all year that anything to do with liquids like oil and gasoline, dairy, water, water movement, car washes, tides, or businesses dealing with these will also go smoothly. And I want to interject here, you might find water expands for you during these 52 days. Uh, so please be careful with flooding. All right. Uh, don't leave taps running and make sure all your pipes are cleaned out. You will enjoy these fast acting 52 days. Oh, I missed one. Uh, do not start anything significant during this time, including contracts, legal proceedings, or marriage. You will enjoy these fast acting 52 days. This would be a good time to move into a stepping stone job as you will quickly move on to the next level. Any agricultural efforts will prove to be a success. Do not loan or borrow money. Do not start any construction. Do not invest, gamble, or play the stock market during this period. Temporary conditions such as headaches, digestion, upset, passing despondency, aches and pains, minor colds and flus may interfere with your health. Anything that lasts a few days and disappears will occur during this time. So that wraps up our planet, ancient planetary cycles, our Jupiter cycle uh, for each um, birthday personality and what you can expect during these next 52 days. And I just want to say during these next 52 days is also um, our Thanksgiving. And isn't that interesting that we expand our tables and expand our waistlines and uh, we just really enjoy the harvest season that Jupiter is supplying all this abundance for everyone. So thank you very much for listening. I sure appreciate you and I look forward to talking to you in our next planetary cycle. Please take care of yourself. See you online. Bye for now.